What is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is TNT95, you can call me Eli, and this is the best guide on the internet to get the Ray's Lighter Exotic Sword or any other exotic sword that you need, excluding the new one in Rise of Iron. But all the th all three exotic swords that came out in Taken King. This guide will show you how to get in the most efficient way possible. So, without any further ado, let's get into it. My flawless raider guide requires rays lighters, so why don't I show you guys how to get it? This guide will also show you how to get dark drinker and bolt caster. Whenever I mention a planetary material or planet itself for the rays lighter, you will be shown the equivalent planet or material for the other swords. Each part will be annotated so you can go directly to your desired section. Timestamps will also be provided in the description for those on mobile. Now let's make our legendary sword. First, make sure you've completed the Taken King story missions. If you didn't see Orcs' sword fall apart, go do that. Now talk to Eris and get the quest of Broken Will. Shax should have a mission for you. You need 25 Hadian Flakes and one mode of light. To farm the flakes, go to the Dreadnought and explore the first area. The flakes can be found in chests. Equipping Memory of Galeon will show you hidden chests in the area. This will make it more efficient to find those materials. Now that you've gotten all the materials, you can get the sword. Make sure you get the basic solar sword and not the one that comes with the Refer a Friend quest. The one that you get from Refer a Friend will not activate this mission. Once you've acquired the sword, you need to make it stronger. First infuse it with another heavy that is 280 light or higher, which should be easy considering max light is now 400. After that, buy heavy telemetry from the gunsmith and activate it with the sword equipped. Now use 12 modes of light to buy all of the upgrades. Make sure you buy them, otherwise the next part won't activate. Shax now wants you to kill 50 majors and 25 guardians in the crucible. First, let's start with the majors. For the first 50 majors, I did the exclusion zone mission on hard. Just go through the mission until you get to the big door. Once it opens, just pass the first dropship with all the cabal in it and a second one will come down. The second one has 10 yellow bar enemies and they're all majors, so take them out with your sword. Once they're all dead, let the rest of the cabal take you out. You should respawn back in the room before the door opens. So just repeat this until you've killed 50 of them. For the 25 Guardians, I would recommend Control. Supremacy had way too many shotgunners, and they are your worst enemy. Trust me. Just do your best to sneak up on players and hit them with the hilt of the sword. It takes two hits and they're pretty spaced apart, so you need to have the drop on them, or they need to be damaged already. Use the third person view to look around corners and crouch so you don't appear on radar. Now all you have to do is wait for the players to come to you. Wait for that heavy round, and once you get heavy, just play a little bit more cautiously, doing the same thing. Looking around those corners, waiting for enemies to come to you. Don't go out and try to get the kills. Let them come to you. This part took me quite a few matches. The first two matches I got about 10 kills each, but after that, I started going a little bit downhill and getting 1-2 to two kills per game. But that's perfectly fine as long as you're getting 1 kill per game. Just remember to stay patient and let the Guardians come to you, and you should always have the upper hand. Once you finish what is probably the hardest quest, you'll be instructed by Shax to go to the Dreadnought and kill Etcher, the Sword of Oryx. To find him, follow the same path as the Darkblade Strike, or just go where I go. Once you get to this room, the door at the end will be locked. Kill all of the red bar enemies and leave the three yellow bar knights. The door will only open if the knights are killed within seconds of each other. Get their health down low, but be sure not to kill them. Once they are all low, use your super to finish them off quickly. You should use golden gun, hammers, or stormcaller for this, depending on your class. Once you get into the next room, it's time to duel. Actually, you might want to kill the odds first, especially the cursed thrall. Now it's time to duel! Etcher's shield can only be damaged by your sword, so you should be able to use the sword to kill him. I mean, you can shoot him after you take his shield down, but where's the fun in that? Once he's dead, head to orbit and back to Shex.
Now it's time to go on an epic quest spanning all of one planet. Honestly, this is the most boring part, so get yourself some popcorn and a movie. You need to gather 10 of a rare material from nodes on the moon. This will only drop from the raw materials, not the chests. And they are extremely rare, so let's make this a little bit more efficient. Before going to the planet, go to your settings and change the time and date a few years back. This will make it so you don't matchmake with anyone when you go to patrol. I'll explain it in a bit. Find a node near the entrance of an area and grab it. Now use your sparrow to go to the next area. Once the new area loads, turn around and go back to the node you picked up before, and you'll be able to pick it up again. The reason this works is because after you grab the material, it will stay there for a while so others can grab it. When you go to a new area and come back, it resets the node, but it doesn't remember that it was already taken. This is why you want to be by yourself, because if someone is in the area that you're farming, the material will not reset and you won't be able to grab it again and it will disappear. This is the fastest way to finish this part of the quest. You can see here that I was grabbing two nodes at a time. This is something that you want to be looking for. Now that you've gathered your 10 rare materials, and hundreds of common ones, it's time to get ability kills. This one goes a little slow, so just run strikes using your matching subclass. In this case, it's solar. It's a good idea to use a gun like Monte Carlo, and abilities in your subclass that make it so that you can always use a grenade or a melee or your super goes up faster. This will make it more efficient and a lot better, trust me. Also remember hunters, your knife does not count as a solar kill. I don't know why. Once you've finished and turned it in, you'll be instructed by Shax to come back on arms day and be ready for a fight. That's Wednesday by the way. The fight in question is a harder version of the Sunless Cell. At least, it was during Taken King Light, back when strikes didn't have burns. So really, it's only kinda difficult. Make sure to bring some friends or tell some randoms what element you're looking for, because going after more than one at a time can be a little difficult. Go through the strike like normal until you get to the boss. All that's left to do is kill a warden and the dark blade within 30 seconds of each other. There are three wardens. The only one that you need to worry about is the one whose shield matches the sword you're trying to get. You can go ahead and kill the others. Get your warden's health down low, but make sure not to kill him. Now as soon as you kill the Dark Blade, use your super on the warden to take him out fast. Or vice versa. It might be a good idea to use weapons and classes that don't match your warden so you don't accidentally kill him. After that, you're done. That's it. Shax will give you your prize. Just use a telemetry and a few modes of light to level it up, and enjoy! Alright guys, that was my guide to getting the exotic sword. I really do hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out a lot. If it did, be sure to like the video and share it with anybody else you might know that wants one of these swords but is too intimidated by the long quest line. This is by far the most efficient way to do it. So yeah, be sure to leave a comment letting me know what you thought. Leave a like and subscribe if you really enjoyed what you saw here today. And I will see you guys in space.